Get up. Get up. Keep going. <laughs> The delusional Ryan Bowen. Ryan, have you had a lot of success before with more powerful lads using your structure? Is that something that you feel confident with because you've had wins? It's, evolved. it's become this point where I can I can sit there now on people that I just couldn't ever do that before. Now it's 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 super because you were weak like, and now you're only semi weak. Like people like Marcus Atira, 160 kilos, and I and I can and I can outdo his elbow very comfortably. And it's like oh man, and I mean yeah, it, it I haven't had the opportunity in in competition outside of what I I, I went there with Raymond Zantanovich. He beat me. He he twisted my hand over and up. His hand control was enough, but but my elbow was fine against Raymond Zantanovich and, and the Zloty to to withstand that. Yeah, it looked I'll great. Me. Could I handle Todd Zilla or John right now? Uh, I think I could be in the match with either of those guys right now for sure. John, will Bowen be able to beat you when you're 75? No, not a chance. <laughs> When I was in the army, I was 70 kilos. The heaviest I ever benched was 130 kilos when I was in the military. Yeah, I benched 140 kilos when I was in the military. I haven't bench pressed <laughs> since I was in the military. I went over to the bench press and I bench pressed 140 kilos. Um, I haven't done that ever in my life, ever. I've never bench pressed 140 kilos. Who have I ever beaten? I won 11 super matches in a row prior to losing to Lachlan. So you go look it up. The last time you guys arm wrestled, you went back and forth and you tied, didn't you? Well, I don't know. He, he, hasn't let, he hasn't spoken about an incident that it should have been 4-2 to me. Bowen looks at Jordan, the ref, and tells him, just say go, just say go. So Jordan lets go and says, go. Oh, he's like, ready, go. And then Bowen went for a hit. I caught him and pulled him straight down. And I, I thought that was a match, but then Bowen had uh, said otherwise. I don't understand. They said, go, you pinned him. What was, what, what, what was missing? Let's say 200 centimeters. We don't have inches on this, so 200 centimeters is my. Sorry, 200 mil, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm eight, eight and a half. Oh, we got okay, 8.75 inches. Okay, so ain't no fucking way, boy. After this match with Todd Hutchins, this man right here is gonna be thrown very quickly into the conversation of world number one rank for 105 kilos. What he does to Todd Hutchins will su surprise everyone, it will shock everyone. It won't shock me, I've been saying it for a long time, this will finally be the I told you so moment in terms of what I've been saying over the last two years about the level of Australian arm wrestling. Is it going to be a case of told you so, Australia's badass, or is it gonna be get back in your box, you're not as good as you think? Back in your box, blowing. And Lachlan's going to beat Todd Hutchins as easy as he beat me. Do not, by any stretch, think that this is an easy match for Todd Hutchins. But if it's going to be easy for anyone, it's going to be easy for Lachlan. Lachlan's wrist flexion stronger. Lachlan's back pressure stronger. Lachlan's pronation stronger. Lachlan's centre chest strength is stronger. I think he's going to trounce Todd Hutchins. Todd's not going to win. I am putting a thousand dollars on it. Already have. I have a bet, a private bet with uh, Jonathan Hoffman for thousand dollars on this match, and I'm really confident that Jonathan Hoffman's going to be paying me uh, after this. So, Jonathan Hoffman, thank you for taking the bet. Let's be clear on this one: I am making a prediction, and it's six zero yeah. Lockman there. It's six zero wow. bad. It's 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 not even close at the end of the day. It's it's bad. It's bad. I <laughs> expect a video of me just laughing. Yeah, <laughs> that I'll have. Ready to just turn public when you win. <laughs> <laughs> if Todd's hand does gas, I think that Lachlan will then be able to win a, right. a slower pull. But now, yeah, <laughs> I've never seen Todd's hand get gas. So that, I mean, if that happens, that'll be a very unusual yeah. situation because <laughs> I'm, 
<laughs> is Todd Hutchins is the the old lion coming to the fight with his tail between his legs. <laughs> I, I think he knows that he deserves an ass kicking. Trust me, he's shitting himself on the uh, behind the scenes. I guarantee it. He is because I, I was under no illusions that outside of straps, Rob's was going to be a big problem for me, and wow. even just getting to strap was going to be difficult. And I think Rob's going to be the one slipping me because of how quick I'm throwing my shoulder at him. I- <laughs> and I, it was I was pretty open and honest as well that I was not even going to really attempt to pin him out of straps. Trying to figure out how to slip out of that hand. I'm not going to slip it, Jason. I'm just going to pin him. I, so with I that... I don't need the strap. If we were to meet at 220 pounds, I mm-hmm. think I, I, could, I could be ready in six months if I had nothing other than prepare for Todd. <laughs> I'm going to have more drag pressure than, than Todd. I actually, I actually think that it's a great match for me. I, I, um, Todd is someone that actually biomechanically just slots into my best, best spot. Connective tissue.